I'm telling you, Paul, this guy's hilarious. He played Kramer, you know. Kramer? Yeah. From Seinfeld? Yeah, you know. Jerry's wacky neighbor that keeps flying to his apartment. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Shh, shh, shh it's starting. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen welcome, welcome to the Laugh Factor. factor. <laughs> All right, tonight's comedian is one of the best we have had. He's known to make everybody in the club laugh so hard. Now, a lot of you know him as Cosmo Kramer from Seinfeld. So please, so please welcome, welcome back, back Michael, Michael Richards! Thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. Of course, if you're not here, and say you're over there, I feel bad for you, because the best place to be is here. Before I came here, I was hanging out with my friends. Now let me tell you something. My friends eat the worst food, terrible food, junk food, they look great. I'm thinking to myself, what the hell is going on? They would come back for McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Checkers, White Castle, Jack the Box, or all the above. And now one of them comes to me and says, Hey Mike, you need to work out. So he gives me his coupon. It says, free workout for a week, entire week. And I say to him, why are you giving this to me? Why don't you do it? And then he says to me, now I would do that, but ho, 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 ho. I have an appointment with french fries and con candy. Hey, my friend does not think you're funny. <laughs> what did he just say? You really think I care about your you and your friends? This is uncalled for. Hey, you started it. There's no need to heckle me. You damn nigger. When I go to bed and wake up in the morning, I'll be a rich man. When you wake up in the morning, you still be a nigger. That was uncalled for. Shut up! Fifty years ago, you had the upside down with a fucking fork up your ass. You got told, you got told, you got told, you brave now, motherfucker! Throw his ass out, he's here! He's on the earth! He's on the earth! Oh my god! I never looked at the earth! Woo! Woo! Alright, you see? This shocks you? This shocks you? You see who's fair underneath, you stupid motherfuckers? That was uncalled for. What was uncalled for? It's uncalled for you to rub my ass, you cheap motherfucker! You guys have been talking and talking and talking! I can't believe this. I can't believe this. My fear comedian's doing this? I told you we should have so happy feet. Look at all these people leaving the club. I guess we better leave too. I don't want to see him end his career like this. Let's go, Paul. It's just not funny! That's why you're a reject! Never had no shows, never had no movies! So I felt that's it! Oh, I guess you got me there. You're absolutely right. I'm just a wash-up, goss down the stage. What? You interrupted me, pal! That's what happens when you interrupt the white man! Now you see, there's words, those words, those words. What the hell have I done? <sighs> so much for the best day ever. Oh, come on, Andrew. It wasn't that bad. Are you kidding me? Think about it. People got killed or replaced in three. The best diner with the best food had the worst waitress. And a very funny man is going to be hated by the entire world because of the comedy club incident. I'm telling you, Paul, today was such a bad day. It couldn't get any worse. Because you had a bad day. You take it one down. You sing a sad song just to turn it around. You said you don't know. You tell me don't lie. You work at a smile.
you talk about a bad night, you know, that's, uh, you know, I never know I had these feelings. As long as the press doesn't hear about this, my career should be fine.